the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, man, God bless you. Hey, we had a great study today. I think it's every time we get to have a forum and, and get into the Word of God, I do believe it's great. I believe in the leading of the Holy Spirit. And I think the fact is, it's all about uh, being open and, 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 and frank in discussions about the scriptures and, and learning and analyzing those scriptures line upon line and precept upon precept. Yeah, we can't cover everything in one session, and we're not meant to do that. We need to highlight an area and i guarantee you that every area any other areas in the scriptures especially in the teaching of christ is to to make sure to remind ourselves that we line up with the scriptures and the teaching of christ christ said in john 14 6 i'm the way the truth and the life no one comes to the father but by him and because of that that's why it's more important for us to to not only point the way but to also go the way and recognizing that eternal life is following Christ uh, for those who want to receive Christ. Yes, those of you who don't want to believe in Christ or don't want to receive salvation from our perspective, that's your choice and we respect that choice. I want you to always know that. You have a right. You should. God gave you the right to choose. For believers, you made a choice that Christ is Lord, so let Christ be Lord in your life. And meaning Lord mean is instead of doing it your way, uh, you doing it his way. And so we want to be able to talk about the different uh, atrocities and, 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 and what's going on during the day, you know, modern time, and address it and say, how do things line up with the word of God? And that's what we want to talk about today. And one of the things is I'll show you, this is the title that I'm using uh, for today. Uh, I'm going to change the uh, cover. <laughs> uh, I just used the, one of my cover from last week to, to put up there to, to start this session off. Then I just take one of my uh, pictures for the day to uh, cover the scriptures. But the title, is talking about what fellowship has Christ with Belial. Belial. Belial is what represents the evil one, the devil, and so forth. What fellowship has it? Or love with hate. What fellowship, what compatibleness, compatibility does love have with hate? Or Christ have with the devil? None. And that's what we're trying to tell you. So we're trying to address in asking these questions is why would you use hate, discrimination, uh, murder, adultery, and all those things to and say that it's okay because it lines up with God. It has no compatibility. I hope that you start talking to the people in the medical profession and sit there and those people that are sitting there doing things that cause uh, people from different ethnic groups to die in, in, in procedures or in birth, uh, that ain't right. So talk to them. Let them know your eternal life is on the line while you're sitting there doing something that you think lines up with God's will, but murder does not line up with God's will. Not doing the best that you can just, and, and, and or doing the less that you can is not lining up with God's will. But the whole point I just want to sit there and say is that we're not supposed to uh, do things that's not compatible with the teaching of Christ. And, and that's what I think we need to ensure people do that, is to do the thing that's compatible with the teaching and encourage other people to do what's compatible with the teaching. And, and not to hurt people or put people down, but to love one another, amen? All right, so I think you're gonna enjoy this session. I guarantee you will. And I've even used some AI. <laughs> My son gave me something dealing with AI, and I used that to put some scriptures down, and it gave some interesting comments 
or synopsis of those scriptures that I want to share with you. And I think we can continue to use those to, to get that non-biased to at least less least bias bias uh, perspective of the scriptures. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you in here. And don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give comments when you can and understand that Yeshua, Jesus, Yeshua is the Hebrew name for Jesus in the English translation or transliterations. So uh, I hope you enjoy the study and, and I hope you come back again and we'll continue to just put the word out from my understanding and from what the scriptures say. The key to it is the whole purpose of using the slides is to show what the scriptures say. And I'll ask you to do is follow the scriptures. That's what you need to do. And that's what I believe is right. Amen. All right. And don't forget to subscribe. And now let's go ahead into our discussion that we had this Sunday. I'll check you when I see you later. Amen. Hope you enjoy. Bye-bye. Yeah. I'm not the I'm not the Yes. Yeah, I'm not the killer. I'm not I'm not a, gonna beat you in the head with a stick. Yeah. But they I mean, look if 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 my presence produces <laughs> Great sounds uh -huh. and, 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 and the, the atmosphere that I'm my presence is in changes. Come on. <laughs> if, if if the presence of God does all that, then it should show in us as well. It should the, the mercy of us should yeah. change the atmosphere around us in such a way that those who come around us shall see. Mm. How their righteousness hails to God's righteousness. Exactly. Because and it is coming through us. Yeah. And, so the, and, and that is encapsulated in the love that we have for one another. That should be the first witness to anyone. And that's what people look at. The presence of God that's yeah. within us. And yeah. then once they, they, uh, uh, are in the midst of us for any time frame, whether it be just a brief passing or, or, or you know, a, a minute to hours, the glory of God should be revealed. Yes. Within an individual. I, I, I tell you, and then once, once, once you find someone of like precious faith, Mm -hmm. The joy in, 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 in just sharing the knowledge that each have. Just like me, uh, uh, my voice tends to be higher than I think it is in my ears. Yes. You know, because there's a joy on the inside of me. Come on now. That, that, <laughs> that is expressed of um, yes, what I've cultivated in the mm -hmm. knowledge of Elohim and Yeshua. Come on now. And and just reading on that, you know, how it increases mm. favor. It increases grace. Yes. So just in the knowledge of them. So yes. That should be evident in each of us. And so there is no need to project an authority or a power downward to people. No, they you know, did. You're not yeah. trying to put yourself above. It should be if anything. You should put yourself below to lift them up. Yes, you know, and and I think one of the things too, uh, when, when you talk about the the slaves, uh, when they were actually uh, one of the things I was reading is that they were, as it was teaching some of the slaves to teach the other slaves, it was they were really taught to look at. The, the slaves and, 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 and disregard the other people, but the slaves as immoral people, mm -hmm. you know, because see, that's a narrative we wanted to give them anyway, right? They were yeah. immoral. They were sexually driven. They were, they were, they, 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 you know, everything of the flesh. They were as animals. They were, who, and they wanted. Could, that's what they wanted to labor <laughs> like this if they were human. Yeah, if, if that's why we do it. Yeah, that's why they enslaved them, right? Yeah. Who could yeah. suffer as much as them if they were, if they were not an animal? They're yeah. like a beast of burden where you could just, just beat them 
into ex complete exhaustion. Yeah. And they still exist. And yeah. are able to come back again and do it over and over again. So they must not be human. Because they, we, can't, we yeah. can't do that. Yeah. They are, or they're ungodly, you know. Yeah. And, and then we would, so then we got to talk about their immoral behavior. And and that's how you see, really, a call up to the 60s, where it does what it seemed like is more focusing on the 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 uh, the sexual levels of immorality, yeah. Yeah. not not the not the, uh, the but the thing by the other group is showing their hate, their anger, their their oppression. Uh, as if it was okay for them to do it because you deserve it, and 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 therefore we're gonna preach the thing because you deserve it, opposed to preaching, hey, you've been redeemed. You've been you've been sanctified. You've been you've been told and ushered into the glory of God. You are an ambassador. In other words, you, in other words, I seem like they were like you're never teaching them that they are ambassadors, yeah. that they are enlightened uh, at all. You know, and then so you're unclean. <laughs> that, that's almost like so you you unclean people. Uh, but in reality, that's not what Christ was trying to. That was not the teaching of Christ. That was a teaching of manipulation. And that's why he runs so many people away today, you know? So let's go ahead back up here again and go to the next one. But that was good, right? There should be a clear distinction oh, yeah. a between... Distinction. <laughs> if you're acting like in oh. line with Belial or you're yeah. acting in line with Yeshua. Exactly. So, oh, hey, look, like, like you said, when I, when I use that word, Christ, that word Christ-like means that you're acting in line with Yeshua. Yeah. You know what I mean? Christ like, not devil like. And and and, and if you are the devil, it's not you're supposed to treat them bad. You're supposed to show them the love. The opposite. All right, the next one. Let me see here. One second. There you go. What you got? 16. Okay. And one agreement hath the temple of God with the idols. For ye are the temple mm. of living God. Really? As God has said, I will mm. dwell in them mm. and walk in them. Mm. I will be their God. Mm. They shall be my people. Come and on. I can go on for the rest of the day. <laughs> you can do you can do better what the computer can say. So what <laughs> okay, what the computer so, say. so let's go on. Paul continues his argument, drawing a parallel between the temple of God mm. and believers. Come on. As now. believers they are considered the temple of the living God, mm. a dwelling for God's spirit. Mm. He reminds them that God has promised to dwell in them. Hold on, I got this in the way. And walk with them, forming a close relationship. Their personal relationship. You are the temple. You know, I, I, like, I like that even that parallel book. Uh, Paul is trying to say, you are the temple yeah. of the living God. And the people, one of the scripture goes with that, it says, great is he that is in you, in you, than is in the world. So just in case you, you want to say, well, that, where did that, that come from? <laughs> that's what the scripture said. And, and that's not just from Paul writing, that comes from the scriptures. Christ, that's why he sent the comforter. He didn't send the comfort to be on the outside of you. <laughs> he sent the comfort to be on the inside of you. Yes. You know? So so also to, to go along with that, um, understand that the local church is not the temple of God. No. Don't get into it. Not the building. Not get into not. You're bringing the oh. temple into that facility. You are the temples. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, you know, if if you keep that in mind, then your behavior will be the same outside of the temple <laughs> as it is on the oh, inside. Oh, what's on the inside? And the love I like that. that. You yeah. Have, <laughs> when you come together on the inside, come on now, should not leave you Woo. when you leave that temple. Come on, I like that, and 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 that's why I think that's why when we talk about oppressing one another. Right, then, then we first of all, you once again it goes back to representing who you're representing. Yeah, if 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 
It is what's in you? Is the devil in you or God is in you? Or is Christ in you? What's in you? Because what's in you is what's going to be manifested or manifested, excuse me, yes. on the outside. That's why the Bible said God looks at the inward. God looks at the heart. The heart, the heart of it. Come on now. You know, and he used that, and if you want to go back to the Old Testament, that's what he even did when he selected a king oh, yeah. for Israel. Oh, man, somebody who you would thought <laughs> would be someone that God would put in charge, the biggest, the strongest. You know, you think that that's who God would choose, and that's who man pretty much chose. That what man pretty much chose, but yes. God said no, no. <laughs> <laughs> There is someone that I see their future. Yes. In their present. Well. <laughs> who I will raise up to be a king for you. Yes. Because, you know, you need to see the, the fulfillment of what I said. Yes. That this king will take. <laughs> yeah. And take. And yeah. take. And take. Intake, intake. Yeah. Yeah. And, and and you will have no choice other but to give, to give, to give, including to give your very life mm -hmm. for this individual. And so it, it, and it came to pass. But yeah. because he said you do not need a king, mm -hmm. even the one that he chose. Right. Faith, right. Because he, he was only human. And yeah. the spirit of God did not dwell in him. He mm -hmm. dwelled upon him. Exactly. At yeah, so, uh, there's that. So, and the guy was, and the guy said, and once again, they get into the, they got into the big, well, at least Saul got into the big head, right? Yeah, and yeah. and he he he's sitting there worrying about. Matter of fact, I think he was worrying about his legacy. Yeah. Uh, he was trying to tell Jonathan, or, 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 or I think it was Jonathan. It's like, dude, you understand this guy. This guy is gonna. This guy, if, if you don't watch out, this guy is gonna take your inheritance yeah. away, basically. You know. So I'm trying to defend that. That's that's why I really got. To, so I am the king. So you know, he is the king. And David even said, "You're the king. You're the anointed one. You've been chosen by God." I'm not trying to. I'm not. I will I, not I, move I you out of the way. I don't have the capability to do anything to you but to serve you because <laughs> that's what my God wants. That's what God wants. God selected you. I have no that if he wants to remove you, he removes you, not me. And in the end, that's exactly what happened too. Not only he moved he had the opportunity to take to he take did. His place yeah. By his power. Yeah. Well, he was he was put in that position. Yeah. He would not go against the will of God. Exactly. He did it. He didn't. And that, that's the whole point I'm trying to say is that people need to understand that God wants a personal, and it's very important for you to have a personal relationship of indwelling of the Holy Spirit because you facing, now everybody agree, even as long as facing challenges. Yeah. It, it, look, your pastor can't be with you when you're going through a challenge. No. I mean, you can call, like maybe you show up. Be able to be in contact with you. So he can't yeah. Yeah. But, uh, you but, but, go ahead. You know, there was something that, that that came to mind when we were talking about people. Uh, when he said uh, I say that you're the son of God. Mm -hmm. uh, know that God spoke to him in the spirit. But also you can be in your own fleshly mind because God just rebuked you. I mean, Yeshua rebuked him right after. Oh yeah, you just, yeah. So, so there is a, a chance of moving outside of the Holy Spirit. I mean, it's only obvious. Often, yeah, it's obvious. And so, but, so go ahead. The, the thing is, is to become so sensitive to the moving and the will and the unctioning of the Holy Spirit that you you, you know that you're always trying to be aware mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Of, of 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 its leading of its its speaking 
because I mean, even Yeshua said he will only say mm -hmm. what I tell him mm -hmm. to say. So then if you're only listening to that, how could you be out <laughs> of the will of Christ? How could you not be Christ-like if you're consistently listening for that? But, but, but uh, let me throw something at you. I'm going to interrupt you on this too, just to let you know. Uh, it's also, how can you be? Because I think we should give that, it should answer that question. How can you be? Is the fact is that what is written right your leading should not contradict what is yeah. written what and oh and in this case we talk about christ said this is what you see i'm saying a contradiction in other words he said get behind me satan to peter is because he was first telling them what was going to happen yes. right he so so when he time just like just like when god told adam and eve you shall not eat of this tree because if you today you eat that up, you should surely what die. I just gave I just told you what I that gave was, you I gave you the uh, guidance. That was the first scriptures of their Bible and the yes, only sir. scripture that they had. <laughs> Come on now, and that's what, what I'm talking about. You talking about being sensitive to the Holy Spirit, right? And the Holy Spirit is going to stay within line of the scriptures. That's what I'm trying to say. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the study, the session we just went through. I'm going to break those sessions down. I have broken the broken session down from A, B, C, D, or whatever it takes to finish them out. And then I just uh, post those on a daily basis throughout the week. And I will share those as much as possible to everybody uh, on Facebook and uh, on YouTube. And, you know, I will send some out to text. I normally try to send the phones on text on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And take you Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday uh, of the session that we had. So uh, I just hope you just capture the whole point is that we need to be able to actually focus on the Word of God and practice the Word of God and stop fellowship with people that teach things that's contrary to the word of God. Now I tell you not to go and minister and go preach the gospel to 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 the to the world. But when you actually have people who profess to be Christians and then they try to teach things contrary to the scriptures, not contrary to your ministry, your denomination, uh, or whatever somebody else tells you, what you want to do as an individual is responsible for doing what the scriptures say. Be led by the Holy Spirit is all we want to be able to do and emphasize in this teaching. You know, so uh, there's no the title uh, as we gave here and I'll show it again just to close out with it, the title. And I'll update the title in itself, but it says, What fellowship has Christ with the lion? The lion represents the devil. Or love with hate. What, what fellowship do those two have? They don't have any. Uh, and that's why you want to make sure that you don't demonstrate the things or the, 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 the tools and manners of the devil. You want to demonstrate the tools of Christ, the love of Christ, the teaching of Christ. You know, I, I put in a song in this and they say, yes, you know, you remember that little song, the Christian song, children's song that says, you know, yes, Jesus loves me uh, because the Bible tells me so. And I put it in there and say, and is it that that's an incomplete song. And I know it's a children's song. And I just encourage the people to add some other things to the song, such as, yes, Jesus loves you. Yes, Jesus loves you, for the Bible tells me so. Yes, Jesus forgives you. Yes, I forgive you, because the Bible tells me so. You see what I'm saying? For us as believers, mature believers, is the fact is what does the Bible tells us so? 
right? And that's that's what I want you to remember that. And then also this scripture here that uh, I mentioned in the introduction, what I'm, I'm, I'm mentioning now is uh, in the closing, excuse me, is James 3.11. Does a fountain send forth at the same place sweet water and bitter? Verse 12, can a fig tree, my brother, bear olive berries, either a vine, fig, so can no fountain both yield salt water and fresh water. So when you got hate, everything else coming out of you, you ask yourself, how's that? If you're supposed to preach the gospel, which is good news, if you're supposed to operate in love, which is the doctrine of the gospel, but you're showing hate and you're showing discontent, you need to check yourself. And you got to sit there and say, I'm following the will of God or following the will of man or myself. I said, Father Christ. Amen. God bless you. I hope you enjoy the study. And then I hope you see the rest of these segments as we go along into it. Amen. God bless you. And I appreciate you listening. And I'll see you when I see you. <laughs> bye bye. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you.